Oh, look who it is. Batman and Robin. Well, accept that as long as you go cat women, you pussy. Harry gets a message. It's a message that everybody else is getting. I'm worried about. Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're back with another steel game. Series 2, episode 9. How the fuck did we get here? Episode 9. I've got my tea cakes here. I only got one left here. I've got another pack. When this finishes, I'm gonna go get a pack. I've also got I've got black coffee today. Not because I wanted black coffee, but I've had no choice. My mic has gone off. Well, it hasn't gone off. It's meant to be going off today, but the fact that I've opened it for the last three, four days. In my opinion, it's gone off. I don't like messing with it. But yeah, we've got our black coffee, one spoon of sugar. We've got tea cakes. We've got fucking Jack. We've got fucking Victor. And I'm coming to Scotland very soon. I'm going to talk about it more as the episode goes by. But yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's go. Disgusting. It's even 10 o'clock in the morning and we're ringing. My drawers are soaking. Well, you still in before you come out. <laughs> oh, very funny, Jack. That's Craig Lang for you. It's a terribly winter here. It's a bloody vortex. Ah, I said, I've made my mind, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> That's if you didn't drown first. <laughs> you drown. I fancy you've got a hole in the mind. Love it. My spin in that. No, 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 no. Hold call, America. I'd like a venture holiday. No. It's a big enough adventure getting across to the bloody shops over the way. I don't know, I've always fancied it, you know. Africa. Down the Nile. Up the Congo. Or a Taj Mahal. Oh, aye. <laughs> it's getting there, is the problem. Fourteen hours on a flight at your age. That would drive you do lally. And a flight alone would kill you. Knees jammed underneath your chin and you're stuck and waiting your luggage at the other side. Boom! Blood clot. Thrombosis, that's what they call it. Then they have to fly your corpse in. Aye, but you're doing the hole with all the bananas and spiders. Deed, some holding it. Aye. Oh, that's good. That was quick. Gonna uh, pick that up for me. All right. What's this then? Oh, it's a, a tape from my Fiona. Lovely. Aye, uh, I got it a couple of days ago, but they don't play here, so I to take it out of Shug. He's transferred it for me. How don't they play, Jack? Eh, uh, because they're Canadian. Aye, the, uh, the tape's different, you know. Yeah. Is it? How's it different? Eh, uh, because, well, when... Um, you know how you've got the, you've got the tape there? You put, you've got... The, the wheel goes... The, the tape goes across from... He hasn't got a few, has he? technical. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher Hawkins. Hey. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Hawkins, thanking you. In the name of Christ is Christopher Hawkins. Mary bastard. The wheelchair device. No, Stephen Hawkins. Yeah. Aye, what did I say? Christopher Hawkins. Did I? Aye. <laughs> what about him anyway? Nothing. You want a cup of tea? Eh, hey, aye, put the kettle on up at this tape on. Look at that, Nivy. Slashing down the day. Hey, Riser, did you see stars in the rise on Saturday night? Eh, hey, no, no. Oh, me and Mina never miss it. It is the highlight of the week for us. Isn't that right, Mina? <sighs> uh, thanks for joining in, your boot. <laughs> oh, I should have seen the wee prick that won it. Frank Sinatra. Utter garbage. He was five feet. Wee toty Sinatra. Must have sounded like Sinatra if he won it. Did he, buggery? <laughs> Nobody sounds like Sinatra. <laughs> no, this guy sounded more like a gay Sinatra. <laughs> a toty wee midget gay Sinatra. <laughs> Trick. It's not like me to miss it. I generally watch it. Oh, here, Nivy, I'd love to be on that. Do you know who I'd like to be? Mama Cass. No. <laughs> Sorry. Who? Patsy Klein. <laughs> oh, Patsy Klein? Aye. Ah, you'd be a good Patsy Klein. He's a blast. No, I don't know. Oh, come on. The shop's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Get easy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. Tonight, Stop. Matthew, I'm going to be a bag of kittens drowning in the canal. I think you've been a wee bit harsh there, Navi. I've always thought you have a beautiful voice, sweetheart. No, Harry. 
I'm not even man to speak to you. Oh, but darling, hear me out. No, no. I've no interest in anything you've got to say. Hello, Dad. Hello. We thought we'd send you a wee home Hello. movie star in my She's house. looking smashing, yeah. isn't she? Yeah. She is, like... Oh, boy, he's there. <laughs> oh, that's not her accent, so... Hi, Jack. Here's Tony, boy. What's going on over here? Was. Jack and Stephen are cooking yeah. burgers. How many burgers are you cooking? Five. Why five? We're cooking one for you, Grandad. Can you smell that, Grandad? Come on. Boy, he's done your burger there, Jack. <laughs> What's the matter, Jack? Ah, nothing. That tape just caught me off guard there, that's all. Seeing the size of the ground means and that. It's always the same. Every time she... Every time she sends me one of them tapes, I sit down and I get all excited and then... It just depresses me, you know? What does? Oh, I'm missing them and that, you know? So the bloody emigrated with them when they asked me. Aye. I sometimes wish I'd done that with Matt John and Johannesburg, you know, but, uh, well, you can, eh, can you? I mean, suppose they end up moving again. Then that's you to move again. It's silly, and I'm just fall. This is the part of Steel Game that, you know, I absolutely enjoy, you know, we're laughing, five minutes ago I'm laughing my ass off, I'm, you know, screaming everywhere, not screaming, but, and then this part comes out, talking to my family, I absolutely love it, because it's like, it's true, it, it resonated with me so much, you know, I can, I've, you guys, I thought you guys probably heard this, I lost my grandma uh, back in, was it November? Yeah, November, and so, so sad, I was so, just such a lovely, lovely, lovely person, and you know, when when she died, it was so sad. But one thing that kind of helped me was the fact that when she was alive, you know, when she was alive, she used to stay in London, and I'm living in Birmingham, and she'd come down here, and I was so glad that before she died, she actually got to meet my girlfriend. And uh, whenever she's on the phone, my mom is with her, or my uncles with her, she always want to talk to me. She calls me Eddie the Captain. That's why I call my other channel. Oof, I'm getting emotional here. Uh, I'm trying my best. I'm trying to know to you. She, call, she always calls me Eddie the Captain. I don't know why. I think it's something from when she was younger. Some, some from a book called Eddie the Captain. And she always calls me Eddie the Captain. And uh, it's just little things like that that she used to say to me. that I, I loved when, when she was alive, but it's when she now that she's dead now that it's, it means so much to me more. So, you know, it could be your kids, your grandkids, you know, spend time. Or your parents, your grandparents. Because you might think you have years to come, but just like that, boom, it's gone. You sat at home watching something. You smell something and it just reminds you of them. You eat something, it just reminds you of them. You drink something, you know. Oh, they like this. You, little tiny things like that just you know comes back to me. And I'm not trying to you know be all sad here. Just it's all you know. Encourage you know live life to the fullest. That's all I say to everyone. Please, please live life to the fullest and spend time with the people that love you. Forget about everyone else. Forget about people. What people think and all that. Forget about you know everyone has their jobs and all that. Your job is gonna come and go. Your family. That's why I don't care. I'm busy with my work, but I don't put my family second. My family is first. My family is first. Some people some, some just don't realize that. Uh, I'm getting too deep now, so yeah. Uh, let's get back to this. This is really good. I'm liking this episode. I like it. All in the room like a pup. <laughs> That's near life. No, it isn't it? Your life's here. Aye. It's pish, eh? <laughs> Aye, it's pish. I'm gonna get a pint. It's got Victor, which is lovely. Matthew. <laughs> nah, it doesn't look like a Matthew. How many have you taken? Three. Patch, Fido and Rex. Oh, we you fly bastard, eh? You've swiped all the good dog names and left us with all the shite. <laughs> I'm the landlord and it's my card. Richard. Richard the Doug. <laughs> Chris, 
Jesus. Chris. I'll take Christopher. Chris the dog. Oh, look who it is. Batman and Robin. <laughs> well, accept that as long as you go cat women, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Jack. Victor. Harry's back. Oh, no, you're joking. <laughs> uh, you're just in time to name the dog. I've two left. No, it ain't a bloody dog. It's no a real dog, it's an electric dog. What, a dog with a plug? It runs in bar. <laughs> no, bloody daft electric dog. It's for charity. How much is it? 50p a night. Take the last two. Right. <clears throat> Matthew or Richard? Matthew. Matt the dog. Right. And I'll take Richard. Dick the dog. You can get done for that. <laughs> <laughs> Take the dog. Sweetheart, Don't do that. please. Stay away from me, honey. I'll tell you ready. I know, darling. Is that, I think I must, I must have seen this geezer. Was that the geezer that came last time? Isa's boyfriend or ex-boyfriend? I think the lads chased him away sometime or they spoke about him. Something like that. I could be wrong. It could be a different geezer. It could be fucking Peter Jakey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting flashback from the last episode. Pete the Jakey, what a guy. <laughs> Internal operations, license to get pished. <laughs> I was just, I'm sorry, sorry. Yesterday I was bored and I just, I just put on. I said, I just watched that episode again. I absolutely loved it. Oh, God. <laughs> 007. Oh. Um, the last thing I want to do is be harsh on you. But I'm doing a hole. Come near where I go, sweetheart. Harry, all my life, you've cheated on me, you've lied to me, you've even stole from me. And I maybe I'll take you back time and time again. And for what? Only for you to leave me. Well, I'll not be made a laughing stock anymore. Yes, Isa. So, yes. you're going to leave me standing here, yeah, homeless, like a dog stuck out in the street, with no even the price of a pint. Here. That's us near alone, Harry. It's a gift, and it's the last gift you'll no. ever get for me. Isa. See, people like this, like, I'm that kind of person. You never see me collect. I don't, I don't take money from people. I hear, I, like, I will give you money all day, but you never see me asking for money. That's just not me. Guys like this, just, you're, you're disgusting. Like, you know you're, you're only taking advantage of her. You know how much she cares for you, and you're just taking advantage. And this is, this happens in real life. There's someone, there's probably someone watching right now. And you know the person you're with, they take advantage of you. But you love them so, so, so much. But if if, you, if, if they love you, they wouldn't do that. Sometimes it's, it's better to just leave them. Because one day you're just going to explode. You're just going to do something you don't want to do. You're going to regret. That's why you see most people that, you know, kill their partner. Most people, most, whenever there's an, there's an homicide, it's usually the partner that, that does it. Because something just beats up, beats up, beats up, beats up. And then you look like the crazy person. This is just weird, man. Sorry, I don't like guys that do this to women. Sorry. I don't need to remind you. My name's on that door. Oh, pipe my new game plate then! <laughs> oh, it's not playing games, Isa. I love you. Oh, I don't love you! Yes, Isa. I've met somebody else. What? Who? None of your business. You leave me alone. Oh. Sherry Bobby. Have I eyes of No, Sherry, Harry's back. Aye, we know. And that's no all. I've tell him I've got a fella. Hey. hey. So Sherry, darling. Thanks, Bobby. Uh, lager, please, Bobby. Uh, allow me, sweetheart. It's a Don't money. Be paying for eyes as Harry. You're the new fella. <laughs> that's right. Uh-uh. Cracking woman. <laughs> Bit of a gab shite, but generally lovely. <laughs> Hey, Bobby, who's on the dug, Bobby? Looks like I have, eh? Hey, nothing. <laughs> right, attention, everybody. Uh, the winning name in the Name the Dug competition is... Uh, <sighs> Matthew. Oh. Smashing. Oh, he's my dug. <laughs> Me and Matthew. <laughs> Got it. You've got your key commands. Train it and that. <laughs> Matthew. Bite his buzz! <laughs> right, it's half past eight here, right? 
I got it. I am just after watching it. I it was it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh Jack Stephen looking like you're on for. Cracking. Aye. Oh aye. Aye aye aye. Have you lost weight? Well, you're not as broad and as you used to be. <laughs> I'm only winding you up, for God's sake. Aye, I'm fine. Aye, I've never been nauseous. Victor? Aye, he, he's fine and all. I'll tell you, he's got a dug now. <laughs> eh? No, 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 a real dug, no, a, a gold dug. <laughs> eh? Oh, never mind, it's, it's just a, a gold, a gold. <laughs> Oof, I don't know about that. When were you thinking? Oh, Fiona, that's a bit soon. Can I think about it? That'd be all right. I don't know the morrow. I'll, I'll, I'll phone you the morrow. I'll speak to you the morrow. Right. Eh? Oh, no, that's fine then. No, that's fine. I'll, I'll speak to you the morrow then. All right. See you then. Canada. Is he doing Canada? Oh ho, here we go. Morning, Navid. Morning, Harry. At 20 Benson and Hedges. I hear my eyes is uh, hooked up with Winston. How do you mean hooked up? <laughs> oh, going out. Together. <laughs> Winston and Isa. <laughs> oh, that's a belter right enough. <laughs> Winston hates Isa. No, no, Harry. Check your wife runs. Someone's pulling your pisser. <laughs> uh, could you possibly let me have him when they... Uh... No, 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 no. What's up? Oh, sorry. Did I say no there, Harry? I meant to say no. <laughs> oh, David. I mean, Isa will give you the money back. Jesus. Tapping wow. Isa in her absence. Unbelievable. Wow. It's only 20 fags, Navid. Harry, do you see any buttons, eh? A zipper or Velcro or any other fasting device? <laughs> no! <laughs> Sling your hook, you panhandling bastard! <laughs> OK. How long do we have to do all this walking about for? I'm choking for a pint. Lag it! At this time of the day! There, see? We've only been out two minutes and you're nagging me already. <laughs> I'm wanting a divorce. It's just for a couple of days, Vince. Hello. Hello, Hi, Tam. Tam. Till Harry gets a message. <laughs> it's a message that everybody else is getting that I'm worried about. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Need touching. That's no part of the deal. <laughs> like, Tam is that character that, like, you don't, you don't think of him. But anything he says or anything he, do, anything he does is just something else. I love Tam. He's such a great actor, man. Oh, my God. It's crazy that no matter what age you get, lads will be lads. It's not something I've done. You've done it. Every lad has done it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> right. <laughs> Harry. Hi, sir. Winston. Harry. Harry. Thanks for walking me to my work, Pumpkin. Pumpkin? <laughs> oh, eh... Uh, no problem, Pumpkin. Oh. You been get yourself a pint. Pint? Oh, that's a rare idea. It's not many girlfriends will let you go for a pint, is it, Harry? No. <laughs> it is not. No. Anyway, don't you be making anything for the night's tea. I'll bring you in your favourite. Oh, my favourite, which is a sausage supper. I know that. I know you know that. <laughs> well, then, we... Goodbye, Winston. Hey, that was smashing. <laughs> num num. <laughs> num num. Wag your wee tail. No. Back. Nothing. Are you hungry? Listen to me. Are you hungry? <sighs> Clap your horns and the dog will flip. <laughs> Hey-ho. Hello, Jack. Matthew, the dog. How you getting on with the wee dog? 
Oh, not so well. I think he's depressed. <laughs> depressed? Your plastic dug's depressed. <laughs> now look, it says in here, if you didn't tend to, it gets depressed. Now, a boy skated by here about five minutes ago, and we Matthew here wandered out in front of him. He's suicidal. <laughs> well, maybe you should help do it in. Aye, take his wee batteries out, you know, euthanasia. Very funny. Where have you been anyway? Eh? Oh. Thompson's a travel agent's. I'm going to visit my Fiona. I'm going to Canada. You yeah, no. For a wee holiday. Ah, well, I fought me anyway, aye. That's smashing. Good for you, Jack. <laughs> Where are you going? Next Friday. Jesus, Whoa. that's quick. Already? I was going to say, why don't you go and see your John and Joburg? That'll save you if you're sitting about in your arse doing nothing while I'm away, eh? <laughs> oh, you can't drop that on them. Pish! Give him a phone. Pish! Never you mind about me, I'll be fine. Well, why don't you come with me then? Jack, I'm going to get a rest. No, a daft boy. I'm not going to go to rack and ruin the fortnight you're away. <laughs> My Fiona's always asking after you. They'd be right glad to see you. No, Jack. I'll promise me you'll phone your John at least. Aye, all right, I'll phone him. Anyway, Canada, eh? Must be chuffed. Aye. Jack Jarvis Esquire, Canada Bar. <laughs> Esquire. <laughs> <laughs> Because I clapped. That's what it says here. Oh, rubbish. I clapped and he did hee haw. You see, he's low. He's no coming out his cell. He's, he's no happy. <laughs> you know why that is, didn't you? How? It's because he's no got a cock. <laughs> Shut up. I'm telling you. That's why Action Man's face is always tripping him off. <laughs> we won't listen to him, Matthew. So? So what? Are you phoning your John? Hey? Oh, no. Come on. Get him phoned. Tell him you want to come out at the end of next week. I know what he's going to say. And what's he going to say? You'll say no. You don't know that for sure. Aye, I did, Jack. He's aye letting me do this. He's no like your Fiona. He'll say no. Right, I'm going to put the kettle on. Why don't you just phone him and tell him I'm wanting to be holy? This is so random. On a day like this, my dad is actually, actually going to come visit me today. He lives in London, so he's coming to Birmingham to come see me and my girlfriend. So it's little things like that, you know. We, me and my dad might not see each other for like probably a uh, few weeks. We, you know, we, we tend to call each other, you know, here and there every week, you know, here and there. But it's like when we see each other, it's like we've seen each other every single day. You know, little things like that mean so much to me and him. Even though we as men, we might not say it. We might not be like, oh my God, yeah. But inside, it's like, oh, my God, I love seeing my dad. And it's like, oh, my son, you know. But I feel like for women, it's more like the emotional part is more out. You guys know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm really looking, for, I'm really looking forward to seeing my dad today. I think he's looking forward to seeing me as well. He rang me, go, uh, do I need anything? I'm like, I'm not a kid. He's always asking me, like, do you need anything else? I'm like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Just seeing you be enough. So, yeah, that should be fun. Let's go. Holiday. Hey. Hello, John. Hi, hi, Sherda. How's it going, son? Hi, good, good. Hey, no, 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 nothing, nothing. I, I was just going to say, Jack's going to Canada. Aye, aye, and I was thinking oh, that. Hi. No, no. No, I was going to come and see you, you know. Well, rather than just sitting on my ass for the fortnight while Jack's away. Uh, it'll be the end of next week. Aye, aye, I know it's soon, aye. A wee bit, wee bit last minute, eh? <laughs> well, what about the following week, then? How do you? Ah, oh, well... No, no, not at all. I, I, I thought it might be tight for you. <laughs> well, well, when would be best? To come over. Right, I'll phone you. Uh, no, look, look, I've got to go. There's, uh, there's somebody at my door. 
Eh? I know, no, I know, I know. G give my best to the boy, eh? Right, I I'll see you now. How did that go? How did that go? Lousy. That's how that went. You stupid bastard. Oh, am I a stupid bastard? <laughs> because I tell you he'd say no, but you're at me, eh? Phone him, phone him. Well, there you are. I've phoned him, are you happy? And he's chased me. Well, maybe he's busy, Victor. Aye, so he was. I could hear the wheels going round, trying to come up with a reason not to have oh. me there. What was the reason? Oh, a convention in Cape Town. What a shite. Well, that's it then. Just come with me. My Fiona's always said... Ah, your Fiona, your Fiona. That's right, Jack, I forgot. Your Fiona the angel, eh? Aye, come on over, Dad, and bring as many of your sad old pals as you could squeeze onto the plane with you. bloody minute. Oh, you wait a minute. I'm not a charity case, Jack. I was doing fine till you brought all this up in the first place. I can't care about putting up that. I know fine just how much my boy is not interested in me. But you, you bastard, eh? Railroad me into being reminded of the fact. I thought you could have done me a holiday. Aye, I'll be getting a holiday. A holiday for you. I'm a fine. Good. <laughs> oh, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't forget a dress of pleasure or regret. Maybe my treasure or the price I have to pay. She may be the song that's sing. Maybe the chill that autumn brings. Maybe a hundred different things within the measure of a day. Actually, you know, yo, someone tell me the Klansman does actually exist. I'm sure the fact that the show is so massive, there must still have a pop called the Klansman somewhere in, in Scotland. Someone, please, please tell me. Yeah, like I said to you guys, I'm going to be coming to Scotland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live on Thursday. Just dedicate that live to coming to Scotland. And I want to get you guys ideas of, you know, where to go to. I'm more likely going to Glasgow, but where to visit in Glasgow, where to go eat. I'm going to try loads of food. It's mainly going to be like, you know, me trying food, going through the town centre, sea centre, and also trying uh, the stadiums, you know, going to Ibrox, going to Hampton. It's Hampton, Hampton, the national stadium. I think it's in Glasgow. And also Celtic Park. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of it. Is there any other teams in in Glasgow? Any other midfield team? God, I can't think now. But, yeah, you guys, if you have any any connections with anything with football, anything with food, anything that you feel like Eddie, you might like, please, please email me if you have any questions, anything, any ideas, what to do in Scotland. Please, please send email to eddiechi at gmail.com. That's Eddie, C H 4 E's. It's in the description. Thank you. Let's continue. But yeah, definitely we're going live on Thursday talking about it. So yeah, you guys come on live. We're gonna have a lovely chat on live. Probably gonna be at uh, seven o'clock this Thursday. The today's day eight, so nine, ten, eleventh, eleventh of April, more likely. Let's go. Goldie, Bobby. <clears throat> You obviously didn't get that in here, that looks edible. Oh, don't ask. <laughs> that looks edible. Are you getting on with the Harry thing? Is he still hanging about? Aye. Uh, what a shadow. He's out there, the new plain pool. He doesn't believe us, he's waiting for us to slip up. Hmm. How long's that been going on? <sighs> a week now. It's not that. Every night I've got to walk her home, right? And sit for an hour to make sure creepy breaks isn't hanging about. I'm half demented with it. <laughs> here. How's things going with you and Victor? Still no talk. No, I don't want it to drag on either because I'm away in the morning, you know. Pay a lager, please, Bobby. Hey, I'll get that, Bobby. Thanks, Jack. So, eh, uh, we're in the morning, eh? Aye, aye. It'd have been good if you could have came with me. Aye, well. Maybe next time, eh? 
Listen, I, I, I didn't mean to force you to phone your John, you know. Jack. He just cares, he cares, that's it. My son can't be asked. I shouldn't be taking that out on you. Who's we, Matthew? <laughs> that we arsehole. <laughs> Two hours I lost him for yesterday. Do you know when he showed up? In the bloody oven. I'll tell you that's himself. <laughs> no taking a pint yourself? Mm, no, I got packing today, I wasn't going to. Oh, take a wee pint, just to see you off. Aye, all right then, aye. Am I not to get one? Oh, no. Too many pints can affect your performance. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right there, Bobby. Won't you? You're not used to me, all floppy. <laughs> <laughs> Floppy. Where the hell did that come from? I'm sorry, Winston. It was out before I realised. Oh, it was Harry sitting there. It was making me all Isa. jumpy. He must have got the message by now, Isa. So that's me after the hook. After you can go back hook. to doing my own thing. It's not been that bad, has it? Have I got a wee drink in for you? And you seem to enjoy my sandwiches and cakes. Yeah, but with a good laugh, too. When? <laughs> the other night, we're watching the news, and that Jackie Bird comes on, and I see Zay. I wonder when her and her man are starting to make love. If she shouts, that's just in. Oh, God. Who was that? Oh, yeah, that might be Harry. Calm down. Mon. Oh. Oh, here it's him right enough. What we got to do? Just ignore it. He'll probably go away. Oh, he's still got his keys. Jesus. Right. <laughs> Isa. Isa. <laughs> Isa, sweetheart. I knew for the beginning. No offence, Winston, but you're hardly a match. You've seen the lengths I've went to to get the message across to you. Oh, no, darling. It's finished. Can you not just accept it? <sighs> I'll see myself it. Goodbye, Isa. Goodbye, Harry. Harry. How are you? Hi, hi, uh, good. Hi. Looking forward to the flight. Uh, well, I'll wait and see who's sitting here first. You generally get an arsehole in the long haul flights, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't this it. I've got a weak brother and I'll be up and doing like a bloody yo-yo. <laughs> New York, eh? eh? <laughs> I'm only kidding, son. I'm not supposed to drink your rain, but I'm not waiting an hour for that baby truck to open up the hotel. You want to be drunk, son? No, you're all right. Mm. Phone. But I'll not be paying for headphones. I said I'll not be paying for headphones. Okay. <laughs> Come fly with me. Float down to Peru. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, these people that look, they look like ants. <laughs> oh, they are ants. We've not taken off yet. What do you need? Mon. Victor. All right, Jack. Oh, out my road. <laughs> You're a 
I booked it yesterday. <laughs> I thought to myself, oh, to hell, you know I'm not sitting on my ass for a fortnight while you're away having a good time. <laughs> oh, oh, no, a windy seat. <laughs> Me with a weak bladder and I'll be up and doing like a bloody yo-yo. Oh, <laughs> <I'm all mixed laughs> up. New York, everyone, oh. eh? <laughs> He literally said the same thing the other geezer said, but it's the fact that Victor's one saying that's why he's oh, that's love, that's friendship right there. He didn't care about the other geezer saying it, but when his friend is saying it, it makes him happy. Exact same shot he said. Wow, I loved your friendship, man. Oh, beautiful. Hey, Toronto. Jeez, oh. Are you okay? <laughs> This has to be one of my favorite episodes so far. I know I've said this a few times now, but this episode, the fact that there was laughter, there was so so many emotional parts, you know. You're laughing, but also you're just learning about life, different things. I really love this show, man. I absolutely love this show. Like I said earlier, I can't wait to come to Scotland as well to actually hear people talking about yeah, people's accents every single time like this. And people saying, I can't eat either, uh smashing. Yeah, uh what else is there? Mm, you come in doom uh, I've seen a doog uh, sorry <laughs> a wiener uh, so I'm just I'm trying to show it I'm trying to show it but yeah uh, it's more likely going to be Glasgow but yeah like I said to you I'm going to go live on the 11th of April talking about the trip if you feel like you want me to try somewhere a restaurant I'm going to be trying so much food you know like Agus I'm going to be trying frozen Mars bar I wish they do they do frozen Snickers because I'm not really a big fan of Mars bar I like Snickers if they did that, I'd be sick. But yeah, any places you want to try, come on the live on Thursday, 7 p.m. More likely be 7 p.m. I'll confirm it on the community post. Thank you so much for your support. I absolutely love doing this with you guys. You guys are the best. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.